Flashkit Plion at the Vian, Bogat Garienus Haddish at Open and Grill with Enema Robbie Shepherd, but presented at program BBC Radio Scotland. Take the floor. Hello, hello! Hi, how are you today? Come bearing gifts. Oh, biscuits again. How are you doing? I'm very well yourself. Great to see you. You good? Hello, hello. hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. This is uh, Jennifer, our producer here in Take the Floor, and Laura. Content assistance. He was uh, the longest serving uh, Radio Scotland presenter after 35 years, and it certainly was daunting. I mean, uh, the man's an absolute legend. Uh, I mean, growing up myself, I mean, dad and mum had it on the car, and you know, you just, it was certainly very much, and you know, what was more incredible, I suppose, when we spoke to so many people afterwards, you really, or I certainly never really appreciated just how much impact the programme had on people's lives growing up, and um, you know, it was the essence of family listening on at the weekend and the family around the dinner table, you know, having a dinner and it was Take the Floor was on or, or as most people call it, Robbie Shepherd was on. That's the, that's the funny thing. Some people, they're all, are, they still say to me, oh, you're, you're doing well at Robbie Shepherd. <laughs> And welcome to Take the Floor here on BBC Radio Scotland with me, Gary Innes. Well, it's all of an address and radio, Ike. Hey, could you look up at one who you were not cued? Just in Colin, Ike. Man Run. I play the accordion in a, a, a band called Man Run, so we're, we're very fortunate in that we, um, we're a full time band and we travel travel the world. We're very fortunate to say we've got agents in pretty much every continent in the world uh, that represent the band on some level. So it works really, really well, and again, in many ways it kind of complements, certainly for myself, I feel it complements, you know, having the programme or being able to do it, but also being able to still go out and, and perform and play as often as I'd like. Kicking us off with the white heather foxtrot and the tunes, the showman's fancy, the quarrelsome piper, Charlie Mulvihills and Harvest Home. Homosik Gary and Kamanak Eki the Bunskala. It is Lena is Kasvina Iava is a sport. Shinty's always been such a, a huge, huge part of my life and I always remember being kind of four or five years old up watching uh Lakaber Kamanach um up the up the field and you know and I went to Kilmanevic Primary School in Spean Bridge and up until about maybe eleven or twelve years old, I really wasn't very good at the sport at all. And then I uh, I went to Fort William Shinty Club when I was thirteen. And I started training with the senior team uh, every week because my uncle played there, and that brought me on leaps and bounds because I was training with the, the big boys, and I was I was wanting to get better, I was wanting to stand up against them and take them on and things rather than getting the ball and hitting it as far away from you as, and as quick as possible because uh, you didn't feel confident. Uh, it's a wonderful tune. It's a wonderful tune, and Mr. Sullivan did just. I feel very fortunate. I came through a time at uh, Fort William Shinty Club where there was a brilliant squad from the management, the background uh, team, all the way through. And, you know, we came through at a time, we worked very, very hard, but we came through at a time that the sort of stars aligned, essentially, and we, we hit it uh, at the right time. Now, I should say as well, you know, we didn't, we weren't Grand Slam winners, we weren't picking up all the cups, but what we did w have was a great resilience and, you know, a great belief and sense of drive towards the Kamina Cup. And I suppose many clubs, it's a funny one, Shinty, because, you know, winning the league is like the, the pinnacle in most sports, you know, to show that they're the best team in the year. But in Shinty, the Blue Ribbon event, it's all about the Kamina Cup. And, you know, as in Fort William at that time, we very much focused on everything else, but the, the main drive, desire and you know, everything really was geared up to September every year for that Kamina Cup uh, final. Year 2005, well, you know, we, we went 1-0 down, uh, James Clark scored, I scored the second, um, Donald Lamont got a penalty, 2 all, and then big Jimmy Clark uh, banged in the third and, and I finally got my hands on the cup. You know, through the team and the time that I came through, I feel very fortunate that I, you know, I hold every senior medal in the sport, uh, which is incredible. And five five Kamenich winners, uh, two Albert Smiths, and uh, your Marine Harvest kind of Player of the Year and National Player of the Year and things like that. And um, I also felt very fortunate. I was got the skip of the Scotland team and um, played for the Scotland team for over a decade actually. And you know, just just so many wonderful memories and met so many great great people and. You know, I think that's that's one thing that really can't be taken away from the sport is that, you know, there is no money in the sport whatsoever. You know, there's no real gain other than just that sense of playing a team, playing together and, you know, having a real focus and a goal. 
A brilliant start to this evening's broadcast from the Seamus O'Sullivan experience. Once again, that's what Clue got the fastest sport. That's a more than the drug enema of inclusion at Kerberhoek. I often. I often worried a little bit the backlash from that because I never asked for it. You know, I just I love my sport, I love my music, and I love my job and so on. But that kind of gravitated to it a little more. And there definitely were people that were put out a little bit with it or going, oh Jesus, you know, he's away doing that or he'll be the one to get asked to do this. And you know, for me personally, it was it was wonderful to be asked. But there definitely were times I was a wee bit, you know, apprehensive about taking things on because I felt that maybe, you know it'd be nicer to pass it round a little but uh, yeah but again you know if people ask it's it's hard to say no <laughs> like today <laughs> well it's to vinyl we turn next and from 1977 with the tunes Linda McNally and the Hills of Tinran grab your partners for a gay gardens so many people ask you know do you miss it of course the answer is yes but I don't miss it as much as I miss the boys I miss my teammates, you know, and I miss those group of lads and it's, um, unfortunately, it's usually, well, either great situations or really sad situations and funerals are, are such like that are bringing us together as a, as a unit these days and, you know, we, it's, it's such a wonderful thing when we all get together, but that's one thing I would say to any player out there just now is, you know, cherish it and, like, you know, really enjoy it and everything else for the sport. Um, and the boys round about you, but when you finish, that's one thing you'll miss more than the sport is uh, your teammates and that camaraderie that you have together. Yeah. 